Here is the camera. Well, you should only see the back view of it and here's a broadcasting an image from a dancer. Spotlights would always be needed because the TV's camera cell isn't much sensitive so this equipment is used. If you want to see it the other side then here it is. And here it is, the actual view of the camera itself. As you can see, it is huger than a human because the disc has 240 lines. It need to be that huge. Here's the hole where the image goes in. Now, let's see what's inside and how the TV camera works, shall we? Inside this TV camera, it contains a mirror drum, a Netco disc, and a photomultiplier tube. Why do we need photomultiplier tube? Compared to photoelectric cell, it's quite small, so due to 240 lines have a huge image, it must have a photomultiplier tube. With more features, we have these two lens, a mirror, and an aperture shot to make it the right ratio for your TV sets. Here's the view of a Nipco disc in action. But for this demonstration, even though it has 30 lines in this demonstration, in reality it would be 240 lines. But this is just for this demonstration. What could be wired up next is the receiver. Here is the receiver. The 240 line broadcasts can be played back on an average mirror drum TV set. It contains a neon lamp for playback, lens, mirror drum, mirror and a magnifying glass used for projection. Here's the mirror drum in action at 6,000 mph or miles per hour. Here is the picture being received onto this screen. Thanks for watching and goodbye.